Today I'll be fishing a very unique lure from Tiemco, the Petit Gill. This was sent to me by Bait Finesse Empire. I was supposed to review this and then uh, you know, give them a green light to have this lure stock in the store, but unfortunately I misplaced it and uh, when I finally found it, I also found out that at the beginning of this year, this lure here is being discontinued. So I took it out and fished it anyway, just in case this is a very, very cool lore and maybe uh, we all should go out there and uh, get whatever is still out there in circulation. So uh, yeah, let me talk to you about a little bit about this lore, right? So it is a spy bait. And it's a gill profile, gill shape, jointed, and it weighs approximately eight grams. And when you slow roll it, it just behaves just like a spy bait. It's slow sinking, the blades would go, right? It'll wobble just a little bit. And if you actually twitch it, right? Kind of like a walk a dog motion, with the jointed body, it does walk. So it's really cool. I'll be fishing this lure in this video using the Longzi Airlight Bait Finesse Reel. I have 0.8 gold spooled on because this is a heavier lure. You don't want to snap uh, casting heavier lures. I upped it to 0.8 gold. And then for my leader, I am using flow carbon leader material at eight pounds. And then I am throwing on my Perco FF500 5C. So let me show you some awesome catches in this video. Let's go. Dude, this lure is pretty cool. You, you can walk it. Slow roll it. Yeah, a long pull doesn't glide it, but if you stop it, give it some slack line, it does dart left and right. Really, really cool. Slow sinker. See if we catch some stuff today. We have a lot of bluegills on the side, so I'm gonna try this TM called Spy Bait. It's like a jointed spy bait. Bluegill pattern, purple, okay. Uh, a lot of fish are hunkered near shallow right now because of the cold front. You throw lures in there that sink very slow, you fish the bottom. Those stuff been uh, doing really well. And this thing right here, you can walk the dog, you can slow roll it. So I hope I can get some uh, fish in there structure without getting too much gunk. And uh, hopefully we entice some fish to bite. <laughs> oh man, allergies sucks. And algae sucks. Which one y'all rather have, allergies or algae? Let me know in the comments below. Here we go. Here we go. What do we have here? Okay, okay. All right, all right. Woo. Oh my. Oh my. They are not happy seeing a gill pattern lure right by the, I see the nest. Okay, yeah, there's a nest. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. All right, off you go. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, when you're stuck with all this gunk right here, right, it's best to have your drive your Bixby drive right in the front, so you can clean up easy. But man, this thick algae hair thing, not liking it. Looks like I'm paddling. You gotta paddle to the, the promised lands, you know what I'm saying? Good fishing back here. But I can't do it with this motor, nor can I do it with my uh, Hobie drive because it actually gets so shallow in the back here, and uh, I won't be able to paddle anyway. So this is what I'll do. I'm just gonna switch over and uh, do some hand paddling work. I'll do some work after I clean this off. This is terrible. <laughs> that looks like a good spot right there. The wind is blowing like right into that spot right there. I see potentially a bassy spot. Oh my gosh. I caught it. I caught it. A wind blown spot, cold, you know? Woo. This is cool, man. I see a few more over there. Oh my gosh, this got to be the biggest one of the day. Uh-oh. Not too bad, but I got to get this thing out of him very quick. I would love to take a photo, but like he's hooked into places that you don't want to look too long. Because, uh, <laughs> well, if he flops, well, you might have a hook onto yourself. All right, look at that. Freaking big, nice fish. All right, off you go. So folks, there's a lot of fish hiding in these edges, right? And uh, with these 
those spots right there. Could be fish just hiding there. Anyways, I basically threw mine like right into those stuff right there. And he just came out. No worry, just slammed it. Here we go. That's a nice one. Look at that. He's fighting it. Good. These fish are pretty much hanging close to windblown covers. And man, they are loving this gill lure. I don't know if those guys are catching fish like I am with these hard baits in cover, but man, oh man. Look at that. Look at that mama. She did not want that gill. Not around her, okay? <laughs> not around her. Crazy. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Whoa. Quick roll. Mm -mm -mm. Get up. Get up, Pickerel, slowly. 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 Oh my gosh, in his whole mouth. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh. Whee. All right, all right. Oh, no, don't, don't flop out. Not yet, not yet. Let me get you first. Dude, this guy swallowed it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, can you be revived? All right, off you go, dude. Whew. What a battle. Lucky I did not lose it. There's a few nicks right here, so I gotta retie. Oh, 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 got something. Hiding right at that junk right there. Nice bass. Look at that. Nice T-boned. When you're T-bone, picture worthy. All right, off you go. Woo. So much fun fishing this lure. Dang, that lure was lit. You know, during springtime, it's always great to throw gill pattern lures. I throw gill pattern lures uh, pre-spawn, right before they spawn, right? Uh, they're off in the shallow, so it's it's easy, right? And then when they're spawning, they don't like blue gills. And then post-spawn, they'll go out further away from their nest, but they'll come back to the shallows because when they leave uh, the spawning grounds, a lot of bluegills will spawn where the bass were spawning. They spawn in very similar grounds. And guess what? It's gonna be like the role switched around. The bluegills terrorize the bass while they're spawning. Well, now when the bluegills are spawning, the bass can come in and you know get some easy picking whenever they can. So definitely, definitely want to throw some gill pattern. And uh, if you guys see this lure out there and you guys want to get a shot, do get it because once again, it's out of production. Who knows how long these lures gonna be circling out there, right? But if you need an alternative, you guys know me. I love to throw the baby gear on uh, from Jackal. And that's pretty much what I throw uh, the entire spring. It's, it's a great lure to use. Anyhow, I hope you have enjoyed this video. The fish don't wait. Get your spring fishing on. Napa is on fire.